In this episode, we'll be testing React Native apps. We are 75% of the JS documentation, but on the React ecosystem, we are only at 10%. So let's continue. First, I must install the React Native. So according to the React Native docs, I think the most easy way is to use it with the Expo client. So let's init a new project. Actually, let me create a new folder for this episode. Okay, it comes with a basic test, just to see if the app is renders correctly. So let's run this test. Notice that I am inside the React Native Jazz folder. works let's go through the docs okay so here it's informing that the JS is configured at the package.json and you can see the config here it's using the preset react native we can use snapshot testing with react native so let me copy this example Okay, generates a snapshot based on this intro file. So that's what it renders. We can provide additional configuration for every test file. So I'll, clear, I'll create this setup file. Uh, so I'll use the setup files config. You can use any name you want here because we will have to map inside the JS config. Okay, you can see that it console logs the setting up test for every test. You can use the module name mapper to map a path to another path. So let me show you. And I'll console log it on our setup tests.
you can see that I'm not referencing this one. You can see no, no another path here. So I'll just point into a file that doesn't exist. And I'll console log the content of this file. It works, it console logs the value of the my module inside another path. You can mock native models using JazzMock, so let's install this React Native video. Okay, now let's run the tests again. And actually I'll update the snapshots. So if I try to run this with the video using the React Native video, it breaks our test. I don't know exactly, but probably because the video needs a native environment. So to mock this, Oops. To mock this, let's use the jazz mock. Okay, I forgot to update the snapshot. And now our test works. And if I open the snapshot, I can see the video tag here. We can also use manual mocks, so let me add this to our intro. So let's run it as it is. I'm not I think this won't impact anything on the on our snapshot because it's actually actually returning a text tag and it will probably be the same. Yes, it will render the same tag as this one, as the original one. But I'll do something different here. I'll replace this children by a div mock. And let's see what happens. Okay, the test suit fails. I must update the snapshot. And if I go to the snapshot, I can see my div mock inside the text. 